um, for us to be involved. The opportunity is travel and tourism is one of the biggest industries on earth, 9% of global GDP. Travel and tourism is one in 11 jobs in the world. Um, the best estimates are the travel and tourism is going to generate 75 million, it happens to coincidentally match up with 75 million unemployed, but 75 million new jobs. Problem solved. In, in the next 10 years. <laughs> well, they'll probably be, if we don't do something about that, that 75 million unemployed is going to grow. But yes, maybe problem solved. So there, there's a tremendous opportunity to match that up. We can talk about later how we do that with you know, sort of getting a better match of skills, but there's tremendous opportunity. I would say, from my point of view, why I'm on the stage, why we were so interested in partnering with CSIS and IYF, and why I'm so involved with Bill and, and, and his team, is that it's a necessity too, right? So I am running a business, and why I, I do care, I'm a father of six daughters, I have a lot of youth around my house, and I care about these issues because I care about um, opportunities in the world generally. It's also a business necessity uh, in the sense that if you look at where we're growing, all this 75 million new jobs, all of the growth in travel and tourism, not all of it, but a lot of it is disproportionately in exactly the same places, the emerging markets where you have these huge uh, problems of unemployment and skills mismatch. And, and we need the youth to be employable to deliver service to our guests as we grow in those parts of the world. And if we don't do it, whether it's South Africa, we're working um, with IYF or Saudi Arabia or, the, or India or where the list goes on and on and on, we won't succeed, right? So it's, it's actually a business necessity. Now, the well-being index, which is the culmination of an, an amazing partnership and, and, and hundreds of people's work to, to, get, to get to this day, again, a very simple philosophy, and then I'll turn it over to others, which is you can't manage what you don't measure, right? So when I think about making a business decision, 